Yo, what is up guys? Today we are playing some Gears 5. Uh, this game is amazing. Let's just go ahead and say that because I have missed Gears of War so much. Um, I played the original game and instantly fell in love with it. Uh, then I played every game following that, Gears 2 and beyond. Uh, this is one of my favorite franchises ever created. This is one of the first third-person shooters that I ever played that like really just made me fall in love with it. I have so many great memories with these games, and it's been far too long since I've been able to play them, at least from the comfort of my own home. I've played some Gears here and there, never anything consistent because I haven't owned an Xbox since 2013. So, uh, you know, I've played some xCloud a little bit here and there. I've played on my brother's console every once in a while when I would see him like on a vacation or if I go visit him at his apartment in the other state. Sometimes I'll get to play some Gears, but it's never like what I would do as a kid, like in middle school, I think starting like sixth or seventh grade is when I started playing Gears. And uh, I, would, I can remember there'd be nights where I would watch the sun come up. I had been playing this game so much. And uh, I missed it. And this is one of the main reasons I finally got a Series X, sorry, a Series S recently. I didn't go with the X because I didn't need it. I have a PS5. But the Series S works wonderfully for Gears 5. Um, I have been honestly in love with this game. This is my favorite game on Xbox, even more so than Halo Infinite. And I like that game a lot. There's a lot of good games on Xbox. But Gears 5, although it came out in 2019... It's still amazing five years later in 2024. It's especially fun because although I'm really far behind in rank, I'm not far behind in skill. I can instantly jump in this game and be good again. It's just like, have I been sleeping and dreaming about using this shotgun and doing perfect active reloads or something? Like, how have I not forgot how to be great at this game? I don't know, but I'll accept the skill. Trust me, I am happy to have a game where I am just good at it without having to practice it all the time. Like Call of Duty, I can be good at it for a week, and if I take a month off, I'm horrible at it when I come back. And I've been playing that game for 20 years. It makes no sense. Whereas Gears, this game just takes pure skill to be good at it. And I like to play this mode here where it's shotguns and pistols and smoke grenades only. Uh, because, I, you know, I like some other weapons. They have the chainsaw, the Lancer chainsaw. That was so cool when it first came out. But I really just prefer the shotguns in this. The only other weapon that I find, or I guess there's two other weapons I find really fun to use, that would be the uh, sniper rifle, long shot. Um, it's so fun popping heads with that. But also the uh, torque bow. That is really fun to use as well. But those, you know, you don't always have them. Um, they're hard to get sometimes on the match. And then when other people have them, it can be really annoying. Whereas the shotgun, it's just skill or teamwork that come into play. Um, so, if you're wondering what it's like to play Gears 5 in 2024, let me just tell you real quick, there's so much content in this game. There are so many maps, both new ones that are exclusive to Gears 5, classics such as like Gridlock, Blood Drive, a bunch of the great old school maps, and uh, you know, there's tons of people playing it still. So it's not a dead game, and although it's not free to play, you can get it on Xbox Game Pass like I did, and I'm sh game sharing with my brother. I don't have an Xbox Game Pass membership at all. I have no, There's no Xbox Live Gold anymore. I don't have any type of online membership, but game sharing with him allows me to play this. It's crazy. I can play it on my own profile, and I don't have to have any memberships. It's honest. I didn't think it was going to work like that, but I'm so happy that it does because, honestly... I wasn't trying to be paying for a bunch of games and pay for more memberships. So our deal is I pay for the PS Plus extra membership that we share, and he plays or pays for the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. It's a fair deal. He might even be paying less. I'm not really sure which one's more because I feel like PlayStation just raised their prices and it's more now, but maybe they're the same. I don't know. Um, but playing this game in 2024, you're going to have a lot of fun, especially if you are familiar with the game. Now, if you're brand new to it, it might be kind of hard to do well. You might get mad. You might get frustrated. Uh, but you have a chance to practice and get better and end up having a lot of fun. 
And if you've got a gang of people to play this with, see how we're all staying together here in this game? It's, it's how you win, especially in this mode. Now, you don't have to do that. They've also got a free-for-all mode that's shotguns only. And oh my gosh, it is so fun, especially because like I've actually won matches in that. you got to think, I haven't really played this game consistently in over 10 years. And I'm still like really good at it. Like It's, it's just really fun. Um, and I, I just can't believe how many cosmetic items there are in the game. And on top of that, with the Game Pass version of the game, it's like the ultimate version or something. It comes with the Hive Buster DLC, which is a campaign add-on. But it also gives you a bunch of credits. So you can purchase at least one cool character from the Cogs and one from the Swarm. So you can have cool outfits. Uh, I know I've just got like a, an Arctic... Cole right now, but Cole is like my favorite guy. Like, he says the funniest stuff, and uh, like, they all have different voice overs and say a bunch of cool quips and shit, but like, Cole's is the best. So when I'm Cog, I'm always Cole, and this was just my favorite Cole outfit. That's why I got it. Uh, but you know, you don't have to buy into any of this cosmetic stuff, and you can earn in-game, you can earn all the credits to buy stuff. Like, there's a store also where you can buy stuff, of course, with real money, but you don't have to do that. So even if you, like, don't have the, uh, say you buy the wrong outfit and you run out of currency, you can always earn more and buy another character. Like, it's really cool, um, but the main thing is the game is fun as hell and it runs really well. And I think that this game is one of the games that Xbox needs to bring to PlayStation, but I wasn't willing to wait on it to come because this is, like, pretty much my favorite shooter of all time and I just couldn't go any longer without it and now that I've got my hands on it it's really difficult to stop playing because it's just so fun now if I still had my friends that I used to play it with way back in the day to play it with I'd be on this game all the time and I wouldn't have time to play anything else but I've got so many games in my rotation right now that I'm playing it's kind of crazy plus you probably see on my channel I drop videos for every new game that gets added to both my subscriptions so i'm like constantly playing different stuff yet gears of war is always on my mind because i just want to play this you know using the shotgun getting the perfect active reload it's just so fun so uh, if you enjoyed this video drop a comment below and tell me your best memory with gears um did you get seriously on the original gears of war as much as i played that i couldn't get the 10,000 kills that took so much effort um, but now, of course, they have Team Deathmatch. It would be a lot easier. Then they had Seriously 2.0, but it is what it is. Um, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe because I've got memory work coming like this all the time. Um, and I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you another one soon. Peace out, my people.